Good morning guys. I'm out for another little ride. Um, it's not great weather. Um, yes, the sun is out to today, but it's been raining like mad. This is supposed to be summer in the UK. No luck at all. But you're not going to dampen the spirits with a bit of rain. I have managed to wangle the Sherman. The Sherman is back. Check this out. So, as you guys can probably see, this uh, looks like exactly the same model as what I had when I did uh, the test, the test ride or the or the um, the demo ride from Speedy Feet. And you are correct. This is um, Ian's personal wheel. So uh, he has sold it to me and. Uh, I am super happy about that. Um, it's been uh, uh, since 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 that day I uh, I took that wheel out for I had it for like a well, so two weeks I think. Um, you now I was I was I was sort of uh, holding back, holding back, and I thought to myself, you no, know, you know, the wheel is heavy and it's and I, I don't know if it's going to really work for me and this and that the other and. You know when you when you ride something that is not um, that is not yours. Firstly, I am very cautious of not breaking it or damaging it and whatever. So um, so so you ride it very carefully. Well, I do at least. And and I thought to myself, you know, uh, I don't know if this is the right wheel. You know, I need to I need to maybe just uh, file this in the back of the mind and say just to sort of leave it. But every time. Um, I would go out for a ride on my S18. I would think to myself, "Geez, you know, I wonder how the I wonder how the um, how the Sherman would actually fare in this conditions, like in uh, muddy tra tra tracks and trails, um, and then also the longer the longer rides. Is it more comfortable? Is it less comfortable? Um, because as soon as it's, you you get the wheel yourself, um, then then it's uh, then it's then it's actually um, uh, much much uh, much different you know much different let's go down here so um, after after uh, all this deciding and whatever you know I said to Ian you know uh, you know if, if you ever want to uh, sell this wheel or if you think about a deal or whatever um, please let me know and uh, he's come through man this is uh, this is the Sherman and it's back I am super happy. Eventually, I've managed to get my thousand subscribers, and with a thousand subscribers, the wife said I can go ahead and buy another wheel or get another wheel, and uh, that's what I did. And um, I was really keen for for the V12, and I am still very keen for the V12, um, but it's still not uh, really available in the UK, and uh, I just want to give it a bit of time, you know. Um, and see, maybe maybe I can organize a test ride or demo ride on that uh, V12 before I actually uh, look at getting another wheel. But uh, but yeah, we'll leave it we'll leave it at that for the time being for the V12. I'll keep uh, keep an eye out for it when he news and whatever, and then uh, and then we'll take it from there. Oh, jeepers, super muddy. I've had it for a few days now. And uh, did a few rides on it, and um, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of just uh, do a few videos about the wheel. You know, it's been probably covered a million millions of times, but um, there might be some nuggets in the videos that I do that um, wasn't covered on the other videos. <laughs>
This thing is just really like a tank. You know, it's just, uh, it just, it just absolutely cruises, man. It's just, um, don't, uh, don't expect to stop very quick um, with this thing. <laughs> it is quick, you know, if you've got both hands free and you can uh, really lean back and you've got power pads, this is sort of the, probably the thing that I need to uh, invest in next for this wheel is getting um, some power, some power pads, some sort of power, power pads so I can get a bit of uh, the, the stopping power and the, and the riding power down. But, uh, you yeah, know, it, it, just, it just really plows through everything, man. It's just, it's just, a, it's just something different, you know. Um, you, know it's, you know, the S18 that I ride most of the times are a, are a trail machine. You know, it is really, really awesome for riding trails. Um, where this thing, I've now um, taken it to uh, work and back a few times. We had a just basically a week of dry weather um, where the canal path was uh, fairly dry and it's and it's uh, and it uh, it was um, easy to actually get past this certain areas that is so boggy where this thing just uh, cruises man it just it just really covers my 10 miles um, in about 35 minutes constantly and it's like in you know sitting in traffic where where um, I do 6.5 miles in the car can take me 50, 50 minutes. It's just absolutely insane, absolutely stupid. So having a wheel like this, where I can uh, uh, go to work on um, and get that consistent everyday riding um, and time. You know, I was actually speaking to a guy last, last night about e-bikes and these wheels and whatever. And he was, uh, he's like a big, a big uh, a, a cyclist and a triathlete and whatever. And I was, I was expecting him to be um, more leaning towards, uh, 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 you know, like the purist. You know, I don't, I don't like anything electric. I don't, I, you know, I don't like anything, uh, you know, electric mountain bike or road bike or whatever. And he was all up for it. And the thing that he said, you know, you can actually get out with the whole family on an electric mountain bike or electric road bike and they all can cycle. You can be on your uh, one that doesn't have any assistance and then the family that don't cycle 50 kilometers or 50 miles or whatever, they can actually come with you and they can ride and enjoy it and you can actually enjoy it together. And that's, it's like, oh, geez, man, that's exactly my thought with these things. Now, when I want to do exercise, um, I want to I want to get on something and do my exercise. But when I want to, when I want to get to work and back, I want to get on something like a personal electric vehicle and just go, boosh, and it needs to be constant. I need to find a route where I can go to work and back with the least amount of effort. You know, and yes, um, uh, uh, cycle cycle bikes and stuff they. They, um, they are awesome and whatever. Um, here where I live, there's no like cycle paths next to where, where I can go on the road. Also, I don't have any shower facilities and I don't have any facilities where I can lock the bike up. So I need to buy a super expensive lock um, for, the, for the bike. I can't store the bike inside the office. I don't have a place to actually go and shower or change or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like, an, with, with these wheels, like the S18 and my even my previous M Super and stuff, you know, I would ride to work, stop at work, uh, put the wheel underneath my desk or in the storeroom, and um, and that's it. I'm ready for work. You know, you can't actually do this with any of the other stuff. This is now in my conditions. You know, I know there's a lot of other a lot of other companies that has got really nice facilities, especially in London. Um, I've been to a few companies where they've got like, like cycling lockers and like big lifts that go down to the basement where you've got like a whole changing area. Super awesome. Uh, where I live, we don't, we don't have that. Um, so, uh, so yeah, these things just make sense. You know, it's like in, um, the only thing that we need to do is just to get the government to sort of, um, or regulated or just make something uh, 
rules that we can start using it. You know, I don't mind paying insurance for it. Um, I don't mind taxing it. Um, you know, if it needs to have lights on, most of the, well, all of the wheels now has got proper lights. It's got, you know, if you lean to the one side, it's got a turning indicator. Um, it's got like good enough lights to ride at night and whatever and be visible. And it's a no brainer really. Yeah. We'll have to wait for the, for the UK government to, uh, to get a move on, on that. Yeah. Let's get back to the Sherman. Um, and this is just going to be my initial thoughts. And, uh, you know, again, it's been probably covered by a lot of other people. I just want to give you my thoughts. And also, um, it's just for my reference as well. You know, you, you know, you get super excited about a wheel and then, uh, and then you need to start riding it. So, um, this is my little spot turn. So, um, just to give you some feedback on this wheel, this is not a um, the latest version. It's the version uh, um, I think it's it's not the the first pre pre built version. I think it's a, a little bit later one. So the pedal height is about 15 centimeters, and I think the pedal height on the latest version with a new wider rim and all that lovely stuff that's 17 centimeters. The other thing is. Um, this one has got a wobble in the tire. Um, I did check the rim and there's nothing wrong with the rim really. Um, well, the rim is not buckled. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it is purely the tire that is, uh, that is wobbling. Now, I have totally deflated it, moved it about a bit, uh, squished it, uh, you know, released it from the rim and, and really massaged the tire all around to sort of see if I can uh, uh, get rid of that. Um, it's still exactly the same. It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit better, but I still got the wobble in the tire. Let me quickly show you. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope you can. It's a little bit like left to right movement. Did all the adjustments and whatever, and uh, it still does it. What I can feel um, when I go um, about, what is it, about 10 miles an hour, you can actually feel the wheel does, does that. Um, and yes, it's probably going to put a little bit of extra uh, stress on the, on the knobbies. But man, this tire's thread, uh, tread is so deep that you need to put serious miles on this thing to actually wear this down. Um, now again, for the guys in the US where they get like a really long distance riding, yes, it might um, shorten the shorten the life of the uh, tire, but uh, man, it's just it's a it's a non-starter really. It's uh, it's so little, and then if you pick up speed faster, it doesn't create a wobble or anything. You know, I've been up to 30 miles an hour, and there's no wobble or anything. The wheel is just like a really rock solid. I still have the standard pedals. I'll probably look at um, putting like side pads, as I said earlier, and um, get some nice pedals on this one, because um, the pedals, uh, the grip tape on there is is not that great. It's it um, it uh, it really soaks up all the um, all the mud and stuff uh, quite a bit. So uh, so I'll probably get some pedals. That uh, what's it? Len Lenovo, Len something like that. Um, it really looks like nice pedals that it's a type of plastic it really looks nice um, it gives a little bit of extra suspension so you've got a, a bit of suspension in the in the fat tire of of the wheel and you also get a bit of uh, suspension on the suspension on the uh, pedals that is a little bit bouncy but yeah let's do some roots here let's check this out One of these guys, that, uh, days, guys, one of these days, I'm going to bring you some uh, dry weather riding. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's driving me absolutely insane. <laughs> recap, just a recap. Uh, the Sherman, this is not a new wheel. This is uh, Ian's personal wheel that he, he moved on. He just basically said, um, I've got so many other wheels coming in and I need to do super miles on it for, for um, you know, the website to make sure that um, he gets all the different uh, uh, range tests done and whatever. And, and he just didn't, didn't see, um, see any, any chance of him actually getting to ride his own personal wheel. So, uh, so he said, yeah, there's the deal, take it, don't take it. And I was like, boom, on that thing and said, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, yeah. So um, I've got all the warranty and stuff, and that's also perfect. I really, really appreciate that, uh, that that was included. Um, but, but yeah, this is, this is just going to be the first ride. Um, and just a quick overview and just to welcome the Sherman to the arsenal of wheels. Um, don't expect uh, the S18 to now not get any love. Um, the S18, and I'll cover this in, the, in some of the other videos, the S18 uh, 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 still has got uh, trumps on this thing. Um, but I'll cover that, that in, the other, in the other videos. But yeah, guys, it's a uh, well-looked-after second-hand Sherman, and uh, it really rides like a dream. Open forest trails, beautiful. Uh, getting to work and back if you've got a long distance uh, 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 tracks or trails and or, or road work where you can ride on the road. <laughs> this thing just eats it, just eats it, just eats it up. I'm also going to do a, a range test. Again, that's been covered in so many other videos. Um, I just want to uh, do it for myself so uh, I can give you guys some feed, some feed, some feedback from a 75 kilogram rider. And it's going to be me going to work. So it's going to be um, how much miles do I get on my 10 miles in, 10 miles back on this wheel. And um, then, then it just gives a baseline to someone uh, looking to buy this wheel. Okay, guys. Well, um, I, hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this humongous waffle video. And, uh, and you come back for more. Uh, please drop a subscribe or like so we can grow the channel. I've reached my thousand subscribers. Now I'm just going to keep on pumping the videos out and just uh, enjoying it, man, enjoying it. Hopefully we'll get some good weather so I can bring you some more, more and more videos. I still need to give you some feedback about this, uh, these gloves that I've been using. Um, I also want to do a comparison between these gloves and the Hillbilly gloves. So uh, check out for that video as well. Okay, guys, you have a lovely day and I will speak to you and see you on the next video. Cheers.